Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Toy Time P. Today, welcome to my map tour and, ex and first expressions of Bucks County, PA. So, first thing is um, American Life Farming, the other map I did a tour on on Sunday. Uh, you can now go download that map on consoles. Anyway, to the tour. So, Bucks County, PA takes place in Pennsylvania, and it's actually based off of a real location. Now, if you don't know what Bucks County, PA is, Google into uh, Google, and you're going to find millions of results on it. <laughs> so, we're going to take a look around the main farm, and just take a look around this map. But first, let me show you what you start off with. So, this is all the equipment you start off with, and you start off with a lot. You have the 6250R, the 6155M, Quad Track 620, 840R, T60 uh, Combine, the TAW30 Trailer, TKD302 Trailer, 625X Header, the 608C uh, Cornhead, uh, this, the Amazon Ripper, uh, Rapid Cedar from Verstrad, the Planter Setup from Verstrad, Mower, Tether, Rim Rower, Picker Wagon, Bucket, Shovel, Hair Trailer, and then that's it. So you start off with basically everything you need to run a huge farm. Now all the sheds on this map were either used by a uh, bullet or Auction David Bullet Bill sheds from Lone Oak. Or, uh, two of the things were from, uh, I forgot his name, but he did make an American Shed Pack for PC, and his chicken coop and horse farm got into here, which are very well done, very well detailed. So let's take a look around the map. So this is the main farm. Look, a lot of sheds look familiar if you played on Lone Oak. Base Game Workshop. And there is a lime station. You start off with this field of, I believe, is wheat. I'll check in a second for you guys. A cultivated field here. In uh, this large grass plain. This is a large cow yard, so many areas to uh, raise your cows. This is the chicken pen I was talking about. Very well done house. And then, I mean, the rest of the fields you start off with are cultivated besides this large field here. Now, this map does have a lot of irregular shaped fields, so if you're into that, you're going to love this map. Oh, yeah, and you'll start off with a field of corn, and the corn has custom crop textures. Now, up here is also where your house is, and then we're just going to leave this farm. We head down over here, there's a NAR farm. There's some farms. Anyway, if you go to this farm, not farm on the map, house, shed, lime station, pigs, shed over here, silo. So pretty similar to Lone Oak. This is a little bit of a smaller, medium-sized farm. Yeah, all the buildings are the same. But that's that farm, and then if we head down over here, these are all the fields. Custom traffic semi trucks hanging down the road. Uh, this town area of Bucks County. We're just going to take it around for a little bit. Molly. This up here is the sawmill. Over here, I think this is called Dreamy Tree Farms. You can sell your straw here. And if we keep heading down this road, more houses. I think this is the second sawmill on the map. And then... Yeah, I think this is not a sawmill on the map. I think you could possibly sell grain here, too. Oh... I'll show you guys cell points. BGA, of course, I think you have to own the land to operate the BGA. And that will leave you out. There is a little forest area. To, so if you want to clear that out, you can. This is another part of the BGA. 
um, and houses. The map has a lot of houses and small communities on it, so very well detailed. Um, you head down this road, and if we were to turn, this is the animal dealer here. Keep driving down a little bit. This is a grain cell point up here, so like a co-op area. Up here is, I think this is the Quaker State Processing Center. Again, I'll check in a second. Mm, restaurant. Eureka Farms. This is the dairy cell point, I believe. Gas station number one. Uh, Nar Farm. Again, all the farms sell straw. And then this is the horse farm, which is the second uh, custom-made building. Here it is. This is the horse barn, and I love this barn. It's a very well done detailed barn. You can also go up in here, place your bales up there. Something you would see in a hilly part of Lower Appalachia. And then you also get the Lone Oak Workshop on this and some sheds. This is the dealership. It's just a base game dealership. Nothing special there. And there's one more farm. Now I have to show you it's up here. So you do get the Lone Oak House, the Lone Oak Barn. This one is meant for sheep. That's what the farm looks like. So again, a larger scale farm. Now, um, that's what it looks like. And you own this land here. So basically, borders of the map. You get Field 16, 15, 17, 28 in this farm area. That grass area to start off with. And you could sell each field. Well, field 17 in the house area, the farm area, can be sold in the uh, is sold together. But each field can be sold separately. And the grass area. And then you can get a lot of money to start your own farm. But um, now we'll take a look at all the places. So down here, that's your biogas plant. This is the biomass heating plant. Davison feed mill bills and Davison feed mill. So this was a feed mill. Dreamy tree farms. This is the beaver Grove sawmill. So that is a sawmill right there. Um, yep, this Quaker State Processing Center. Miller's Dairy. Uh, Richmond feed and seed mill. Then also a bale cell point. Eureka Farms. Keystone Restaurant. Animal Stockyard. Um, this is Lazy Acres Farm up there. Johnson Mill. And this is the Transport Company Bale and Transport Company. And, yep, those are all cell points. But there's many gas stations on this map. And it's just a large map that you can't really dissect in one video because of how large it is. Now let's see if I can find those custom crop textures real quick. I have to find a field that's already harvested. Okay, but if you know the corn custom crop texture, it's basically just the corn stubs which make it realistic so yep uh, I will give this map a 9 out of 10 I mean it's nothing against TNT modding who made this map it's just I feel like it does reuse a lot of the Lone Oak buildings and although the Lone Oak buildings are good I just don't think they're the best compared to what it was originally that Giants denied and I think April 2020 because it didn't go with their standards. But yeah, that's the map. I would recommend downloading it. If you're a fan of smaller farming and irregular shaped fields, I would recommend playing on this. My favorite farm is actually the horse farm. But I like just placing down a house, having two sheds. Very realistic style farm. So well, that's my review. Um, I would recommend this map. It's a very nice starting off map. Full 2x. 
And that's where we're going to end the video. Goodbye.